The Faber-Jackson relation is a correlation between a galaxy's luminosity and stellar velocity dispersion that, along with a galaxy's apparent magnitude, can be used to find distance. Our goal is to find distance to various different celestial objects, and one way to do this is to use the Faber-Jackson relationship. In the Faber-Jackson relation, we need a galaxy's luminosity, and we need the galaxy's stellar velocity dispersion. Let's take a look at this stellar velocity dispersion. And we're going to use a spiral galaxy M33 as our example. Let's focus only on the bulge region of M33, which is this white region in this colorized image of M33. On the vertical axis, we have speeds of stars that are moving within the bulge. And on the horizontal axis, we have distance that that star is from the center. We can see that the objects that are furthest from the bulge center are traveling at around 50 kilometers per second, whereas those in the center of the bulge are traveling at zero kilometers per second. Therefore, the mean speed, which I will label with a V with a bar over the top, the average speed or mean speed must be around 25 kilometers per second. Now we're not interested in the mean speed, we're interested in the dispersion of speeds of the star's velocities. We know that the stars in the center are traveling at zero. We know that the stars at the edge of the bulge are traveling around 50. The mean is around 25. Therefore, the dispersion of speeds from the mean is 25 kilometers per second. So if you take the average, which is 25 kilometers per second, and you add on the dispersion of 25 kilometers per second, you'll get the maximum speed. If you take the average minus the dispersion, or 25 minus 25, you're going to get zero, or the minimum speed. So the dispersion is 25 kilometers per second. Now once you know the dispersion, you will take a look at a Faber-Jackson relation where we have dispersion plotted on the vertical axis. And on the horizontal axis, you have absolute magnitude or luminosity, the second piece that we need in this relation, luminosity. Now the Faber-Jackson relation here on the left is not for spiral galaxies, but for elliptical galaxies. Here we see a various different data points, which are red colored stars. Each red colored star represents an elliptical galaxy. And what Faber-Jackson had determined is the dispersion speed and the luminosity for each elliptical galaxy. And they plotted it on this diagram of dispersion versus luminosity, and that they found that there is a relation or a correlation that exists between speed velocity dispersion and luminosity. And that relationship is luminosity is proportional to the dispersion to the fourth power. It's a power law relationship. So the idea here is that if you observe an elliptical galaxy and you determine the dispersion of speeds in that elliptical galaxy, you can use this Faber-Jackson relation to read off the luminosity of that galaxy. And once you know the luminosity or the absolute magnitude of that elliptical galaxy, you can find distance so long as you have also measured the galaxy's apparent magnitude.